to my channel. So today I wanted to do um, kind of a post, like an encouragement, but a truthful post about weight loss and working out and eating right and everything like that. So I um, was never like really big. I never considered myself that big. It just like once you get thinner and you start feeling better, you realize like I was just unhealthy. Like, it's not even the fact that you're fat or skinny. Let me scoot up. Or thin or, you know. It's not that. It's just, like, how you feel. Like, when you start eating right, like, the way your body responds and, like, how you start feeling is just amazing to me. So, um, my whole life, like I said, I've never been, like, huge or anything, like, thankfully. Um, but I haven't always ate right eaten right I don't know what's right there so basically like I always ranged between like 128 and 138 um, when I was in high school and I didn't mind it that was fine um, I think the heaviest I've ever been was like 140 and like I said I felt fine but once you start like feeling better about yourself like Seeing your progress when you start working out and like seeing the difference it makes when you eat things that are healthy for you and like eat a proper meal plan, you start to realize how much better you feel and it's encouraging. But the one part, well actually two, this might be different for men, but for me it was so like it feels great. But then on the other hand, like, all the clothes that you've collected over the years, you're like, oh my gosh, they're huge on me. Like, now I put things on that were, like, a little bit big on me then, but they still looked cute. I'm, like, swimming in them. And I'm like, I look ridiculous. So it kind of sucks to, like, kind of have to go out and buy a new wardrobe. Of course, things still fit me, like this tank top and, like, these pants that I'm wearing. They still fit me, but they're, like, much bigger than they used to be. So that's kind of, like, a sad point for me is that... Like, I can't imagine. So now I pretty much range between 115 um, to, like, 118. Um, but my, like, normal weight is probably, like, 125. That's what I always range to be. But until I started working out and eating better and everything like that, my normal range is, like, 115 to 118. I would like to get lower, but I'm just happier with what I look like. Um, rather than what the scale actually says because of course when you're working out and gaining muscle tone um, you kind of fluctuate so never just look at your number like look at how you look in the mirror like that's how I was always raised is it doesn't matter um, what your actual weight is it's what you look like in the mirror how you feel and like what your clothes are like on you so that's number one, but it's hard, like I said, when you start losing weight and then you feel like all your clothes don't fit you anymore. So that's kind of frustrating and upsetting because these clothes that you have that you bought because you love them, I don't know, at least for girls, I'm sure guys too, it's the same way. Um, the other thing, this might be TMI, but I want to share a lot with you guys, so here we are, is your boobs. Like when you're a girl, it's just so like... I never thought, like, my mom always had big boobs, like, so I thought, like, oh, no matter how thin I get, I'm never going to lose them. Like, yes, I still have decent size, but I used to be, for reference, I used to wear a 36 triple D, um, which could also be considered an F, um, and I couldn't shop at Victoria's Secret because they only sell, double D is the largest they sell. I don't know about online, but in person, that's the largest they sell. So I always had to buy my bras. I really liked Bare Necessities. Um, I believe that's the website. I can link that down below if you do have that size. I always loved their bras. Like, anything I got was quality. And I actually saved them for later in life. Because um, it's going to save me from having to buy maternity clothes, I'm hoping. <laughs> so all my clothes that are big on me and look kind of ridiculous, I'm saving. Because I'm hoping that I can use them later down the road. Um... So now my bra size is a 32 um, double D. So I have gone down quite a bit, but I'm so happy because I can actually shop at Victoria's Secret um, and I'm really enjoying their bras right now. 
And I can also buy bathing suits. Like that was another such a hard thing for me is finding bathing suits that actually supported me, like weren't gonna fall off of me. So that was super hard for me. So now that's like really easy for me. I could just get a regular size top. And sports bras were always hard for me too. So now I can actually go within the sizes, like small, medium, either one. Um, so of course there are some benefits um, like how I said, I feel a lot better and I feel encouraged and motivated just by looking in the mirror and seeing the things that I never thought I would see on my body. I honestly never thought I would be this thin. No, I never put the effort in, but I just never thought that this would happen for me. I never thought that I would be this thin. Um, and I'm so happy with it. And I've always kind of been embarrassed like about my thighs. I always thought my thighs were like way too big and I wanted to have a thigh gap. Um, so I'm currently working on that even if I have a small one. But I'm so excited because I get like, I now have like cuts on the side of my legs. I'll include like maybe like a transformation picture. Um, I have one on my Instagram. But I'd like to start doing some fitness stuff with you guys because no, I'm not like a fitness expert. But I want to do like what I eat in a day, like what I do in a day, just so you guys can feel inspired and maybe um, what I do might work for you um, if you're looking to lose like a few pounds or just feel better about yourself. Um, I don't know if you would already know this or not, but I like try to make everything from scratch from home, like as much as I can, you know, going to school and working makes it extremely difficult, but Sundays are my days to like make everything so that um, have it ready for the week and that we don't go out. We try to only go out one day a week. Um, and at home I cook really low sodium just because when I have like too much salt or anything it makes me feel so bloated and unhealthy and I don't feel good about myself. Oh, I have to So, and then another tip that I have is getting like water bottles. So this one, um, I know like people have those hydro flasks which don't get me wrong, I've never had one, I'm sure they're amazing. But you can get things that do um, like keep your water cold and are metal from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I got this one, I don't know the exact size, but I've had this for like over a year. I love it, it's metal, it keeps everything cold all day. Um, so this really helps me get my water intake in um, throughout the day no matter where I am. Usually in a day I drink two or more of these. I try to. Some days I only have one and I feel a little disappointed in myself, but tomorrow will always be better. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to share my journey with you and give you guys my thoughts on weight loss and working out. So I usually do my workouts. I don't go to the gym. I run in my neighborhood or at a park, um, usually three to four times a week. Um, and then I go to a park and do like lunges or different workouts. Um, getting outside just makes me feel so much better. Because some days, you know, when you're really busy, I nanny and I go to school. So it feels like sometimes that I'm just either at school, in the car, in my apartment, at the family's house that I'm nannying for. Like some days it just feels like I'm inside all the time, like doing something and I'm exhausted and... But even when I'm exhausted and I go for a run, I come back feeling like so accomplished and so much better and like de-stressed. So I love that about it. So if you were going to a gym and getting on the treadmill, it might not have the same effect for you. I'm not sure. Um, so I love that and that I don't have to drive anywhere. That's really nice. Um, and then I actually like do my workouts usually while I'm watching TV just so it gives me something to distract myself um, and get things done and I don't feel negatively about watching TV because I'm off the couch, I'm doing something, I'm moving. So yeah, I feel incredibly proud. To, even if it is just at home, I think it's important to get a little workout in. Um, and I want to get more into yoga and everything like that, like maybe Pilates. So we'll see um, how I do there, but right now I'm just kind of toning and my goal is to get a minor thigh gap and get my legs and my butt more toned. Um, I don't want to have abs, 
I that's just not a goal of mine if I have them I won't mind but it's not my goal but like I said I'll try to share my transformation picture um, for you guys I'll put it here And I posted it on my Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, please go do so. My name will be down here. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share this journey with you guys and hopefully inspire you guys. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below and I'll try to get back to you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do so so you don't miss me. And yeah, have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.